Topaz Photo AI is a very powerful tool, and this video I will show you one example how I use it. Hi, it's Peter here, and let's get right into the business. But I start with a disclaimer, just to be sure. I bought Photo AI with my own money, and Topaz Labs does not know that I'm making these videos, nor do they say anything about it, of course, because they don't know about them, and the opinions that I have are based on my own usage of the software for quite a long time. Of course, the version that was just upgraded, version 2.0, I have been using about a week now. I made this image using Photo AI and Lightroom. Here is the original and here is the end result. They have about the same amount of megapixels. Some might argue that this is not a proper way to make street photographs or photographs like this, cropping this much. It should be not cropped at all. I should photograph the way it is. And I agree partly on that. That would be ideal thing. But then we come to the thing that do we really have to make the crop the way the final image will be presented? In my opinion, no, we don't. For example, for this image, I only had my 20 millimeter and OM5 with me, which I usually carry on when I go out and, you know, do anything. I always have that combo with me. And if I see something, I will photograph it and then I will crop it later if needed. This situation I saw, there was a girl picking the nose of the statue or the relief of Jean Zibelius. And since I didn't want to go too close and also I did not have time to get, get that close that I wanted. So I grabbed the image from quite far away for this focal length to be cropped like this. But I knew what I wanted from that image and also I knew that I can do it with Photo AI. The first thing I do is crop it in Lightroom the way I want to crop it, and then make these adjustments, export it as a TIFF file this time, and then take it to uh, Photo AI as cropped. It automatically, the autopilot will upscale it. It didn't do anything else to this image because it was sharp and it didn't recognize any human face, so it didn't need to do anything except upscale it. And it's upscaled it almost uh, three times, I think it was, yes. And after that, I export it and then bring it back to Lightroom and make the final adjustments because it is slightly over sharpened the image. What I do, use some masks and treat with the background and or so that it doesn't look as digital as it did coming out of Photo AI. And the reason it did is because it was upscaled so much. And here you can see one use case. So what do you think about this type of use case? Do you think this is cheating when we need to crop this much or I need to crop this much a street photograph or should it be straight photography, no cropping at all and just live with it if you have a too a short lens or something like that. You know my opinion but we're very glad to hear yours and see if you can argue against me and that would be much appreciated if you can get up with some points that I'm doing it wrong when I'm doing it like this. But I think Photo AI is just perfect for this. And I do have some affiliate links in the description if you want to try it yourself. And you know the affiliate links. I get a small commission if you use those links and buy something. But of course you don't pay any extra, so it's a win-win situation. And here is my video about the newest upgrade on Topaz Photo uh, AI version 2. It has some nice little things that makes the image even better. And that's technically, it doesn't do anything with the story. If there is no story, there is no image. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.